So is there a difference between vegan and non-vegan men? Yes, there's actually a big difference and I don't want you guys to get your ego hurt. I don't want you guys to think that I'm bashing you or that I'm saying some men are better than others, but my personal preference and the biggest differences that I've noticed in, in vegan and non-vegan men first is kind of the intellectual aspect of it because vegan men tend to be more conscious, I guess, of what they're putting in their body. Not all of them because there are vegans out there who live off of like McDonald's french fries and pretzels and that's not the healthiest, but the majority of vegans are very conscious of what they put in their body, not only from a health standpoint, but also how does it affect other people? How does it affect our ecosystem? How does it affect the environment? And how it ends up affecting people across the globe? And to me, that's a huge, like huge turn on because not a lot of people are aware, not all of us are conscious. And I'm, I mean, I'm to blame. I wasn't always vegan. I was born in a, and raised in a household of meat eaters and my mom is Russian so there was always fish and herring and seafood and dairy. We had so much dairy growing up so I didn't grow up in that environment. You, you kind of just ate what was given to you and you don't really think about it. It's just you just think about it as food right and not much. Not much thought is really put into what what you're you're doing to your body and to the planet. So to me like I said that's a huge um, turn on. It kind of arouses me to know that people actually care a little bit you know of what's going on the next big thing that i've noticed in vegans is that vegans tend to have better bo and this is true it's so true and i even notice it myself yes i still wear deodorant yes i still like perfumes natural perfumes um but your body just doesn't stink and i i know a lot of meat eaters and this was Gross, okay. Uh, a guy was hitting on me at the gym. This was many years ago. I was in Rota, Spain. I was in a Navy gym and he was a, a Navy guy too and he was very attractive. A lot of girls thought he was attractive and he, he was a good looking guy. So he was trying to talk to me in the middle of my gym session and I always found him very attractive from afar until he got close to me and he was maybe like two or three feet away from me and I could smell him and it was terrible oh my goodness so bad it was it smelled like something died like rancid chicken and it was bad and it was weird because at the time I was still eating some animal products I was kind of like going vegan and I think my senses were just becoming a little bit more like aware more open and I can smell things a little bit better and now that I'm vegan I can definitely tell when when somebody is vegan because they just don't have that smell and when before I went vegan people used to say yes your sen your senses become more sensitive I thought it was BS and now that I am I totally get it I can totally smell people's breath a lot more um I think it's because that that meat it kind of sits in your stomach a lot longer than let's say fruits or vegetables and they kind of putrefy right and all that smell is coming up and it's like it's not very pleasant to smell um so body odor definitely when a guy is vegan and he eats a lot of fruits and veggies not processed food like a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables his body odor and his breath will be fresh to death especially that morning breath Everybody still has morning breath because you've been asleep with your mouth closed and like breathing through your mouth and like caught mouth and you know, but it's just not as bad. It really isn't. And you'll notice it in yourself too if you decide to go vegan just for like a couple of weeks. You'll start noticing that you just don't smell that bad or that you don't need as much cologne or deodorant. The third thing I love about vegan men is that they are just better in bed considering their diet of course like i said there's always vegans that live off of junk food there's a lot of those um it's kind of sad yes it's still good for the planet but you still want to want to put good things in your body right like healthy food potatoes rice i'm actually have my crock pot here i'm making potato soup but they're just they're just better in bed they're just better and i think a lot of it has to do that uh with with all those antioxidants that you're putting in your body, if you're eating a lot of fruits, you're getting all those vitamins and micronutrients that you need that you normally wouldn't get on a regular standard American diet. 
and you have the the oomph, you know, to, to get going sometimes multiple times a day. I've noticed that meat eaters, that's usually their peak multiple times a day and that's that tends to be on the higher side of average. For the majority of men it's once or twice, three or four tend to be higher. But for vegan men, it's like they can go on forever. I think a lot of it personally has to do with just eating a higher intake of carbohydrates instead of proteins. Proteins weigh you down. They weigh you down. I don't care what you say, they do take longer to digest and they're just gonna sit in your gut longer. So if you have like a 40 ounce steak and you're chilling on the couch, you're probably gonna be there for the rest of the evening without wanting to move because your body is gonna tell you to not move because you're digesting. Whereas let's say you're eating a big bowl of potato soup with carrots and cabbage and onions and things that are easily digested, within an hour, maybe two hours, you'll be good to go again because all that will be fully digested and you'll have the nutrition from it versus you know, a 40 ounce steak that basically has proteins that have to be broken down to be able to be used into amino acids and it has a lot of fat which just slows down oxygen um, consumption by the body. It's, it's a lot of work for the body basically. I don't want to get into all the sciencey details but it's a lot of work. So yes, those are my top three things. And that being said, some of you guys are curious if I would ever date uh, a non-vegan and actually, and the vegans may have asked me for this, I would. I would date a non-vegan because I think that being vegan, you can really influence somebody to, to go plant-based when you're dating them. I think that's a great way to get somebody to go vegan. I am not the type to bash people into veganism. I don't think that works because I was, well, somebody attempted to bash me into veganism when I was like 17 years old and it actually just made me angry and it made me hate vegans at the time. I hated vegans. I'm like, do they think they're better than everybody else? And when a vegan comes to you from that standpoint, you know, saying meat eaters are terrible, blah, 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 it doesn't make you feel good. It doesn't make you want to be a vegan. Whereas if you're just dating a vegan and you make great meals, let's say a vegan um, um, tikka masala or some Greek or Mediterranean food, or you're just, you just have this great vegan recipe, you can kind of lure in your partner to be like, hey, try some of my food. And you don't have to tell them it's vegan, just tell them you made good food. And I kind of lured a guy um, in, in my life when we were dating into veganism because he was eating burgers and fries at the time. And I invited him over and I made like some Asian soup and then later I made, I think it was chili, and then I made crepes and pancakes and all this wonderful food that um, he, he was like, is this vegan? I'm like, yeah, I don't, yeah, it is, just, just eat it. And he loved it and he ended up finding the lifestyle so easy and simple and knowing, look, it's just not fruit smoothies 24 seven. There's actually food, food you can eat. And yeah, guys, so go vegan. Tell me about your experience. I know I'm aware that not everybody wants to go vegan, that not everybody is ready for it, but if you are, give it a try, even for like a week or two, and let me know down below if you guys notice a difference, especially like down below, because usually that's where men will, will notice the difference. Of course, maybe, maybe weight loss, maybe some fat loss, but down below, below the waist, it's usually the first place that men notice, so if you do, Eat some yummy vegan meals for like a couple of weeks. Let me know if your results are down below, guys. Thank you. I'm going to go up and stuff my face with. Bye-bye.